Scientists suspect that life may once have thrived on Mars. That the barren world we see today swarmed with Martians long ago. If I had to bet something incredibly valuable to me, if I had to bet my car on whether or not there is life on Mars or evidence of past life on Mars, I'd take that bet. The building blocks for life are widespread in the universe, and early Mars could have been the perfect place to pull these ingredients together. If you had a recipe book with everything you need for life, you'd have things like water, organic chemistry, a stable surface, a thick atmosphere. Well, Mars had all of those. Mars satisfies every specific requirement for letting life get started. Life on Mars may have been inevitable, and we've sent a robot army to hunt for signs of it. But so far, it's been elusive. Our rovers, landers, and satellites haven't found life yet, but they have found evidence of something extraordinary. Mars was the victim of a devastating series of extinction-level events that rocked the red planet to its core, leading us to wonder if life could have started over multiple times. With generation after generation of Martians rising and falling through Mars's violent history. It seems likely that a first genesis of life could have occurred very early on in Mars's history, just as soon as the crust was cool enough to give it a solid foothold. The secret to this early life would have been a crucial ingredient, one shared by the young Earth. Dry, harsh Mars once had oceans. For life to get started, it needs some carbon energy source, it needs nutrients like nitrogen, but those are likely to be present on Mars. They're present widespread on Earth. The essential requirement is really the liquid water. Picture Mars 4.5 billion years ago. Molten rock is cooled to form a solid crust. Water collects on the surface, forming primitive oceans. Rain clouds sweep across the steaming volcanic landscape and in shallow pools of water, the Martians begin to emerge. But these first aliens are simpler than sci-fi would have us believe. We're probably not talking about little green men or women or whoever walking around on the surface of Mars. We, we're talking about something probably much, much smaller and simpler, single-celled life. It would look familiar. It would look just like bacteria on Earth, little tiny round and rod-shaped organisms. If this generation of bacterial Martian life really did exist, it was the first life to grace our solar system, multiplying inside the rock pools of Mars long before life took hold on Earth. Mars's small size would have given it a head start. Because Mars is smaller than the Earth, it would have cooled a little bit faster than we did. So early on in the life of the solar system, Mars may have been more like Earth than Earth was at the time. Let's go back 100 million years after the sun formed. The surface of the Earth is still a molten lake, but Martian life could be thriving on the smaller, cooler world. But these first Martians won't have long to enjoy their time in the sun. Inescapable death is already on its way from space a cosmic bomb so huge, it would completely alter the shape of the planet, leaving it lopsided, the northern hemisphere crushed. Most planets are round, and that's just something you don't really give much thought to, but it turns out Mars isn't as round as it could be. The southern hemisphere, on average, has a higher elevation than the northern hemisphere. So in other words, if you were to start on the North Pole and walk all the way around to the South Pole, you'd be walking uphill essentially the whole time. So we call this difference between the northern and the southern hemisphere, we call this the crustal dichotomy on Mars. And it's been one of the biggest mysteries of the planet. You know, it's the first thing that you see about it and you say, well, how could this possibly have happened? In 2008, 
scientists mapping the surface of Mars came up with an explanation for the massive dent in the planet, shown in blue. This basin, the biggest in the solar system, had to be the result of a massive impact. Called the Borealis Impact, it blasted out a crater 6,500 miles wide and five miles deep, big enough to swallow the entire United States with room to spare. Something really big happened. In fact, the entire top half of the planet seemed to have practically been blown off. The only thing that can do that is a huge collision. And we're talking a collision with something the size of Pluto, perhaps. You're talking about an impact that makes the dinosaur killer impact 65 million years ago look pretty much like a wet firecracker. 4.5 billion years ago, the early solar system is filled with planetesimals and protoplanets, asteroid-like leftovers from the planet-building process that created Mars and the Earth. One of these asteroids is huge, and it's on a direct collision course with Mars. Any microscopic Martians have just seconds to live. If this impact was happening today, and we were so unlucky as to be there to witness it, uh, what you first would have seen is another moon in the sky. And then you would have looked back and seen, oh, it's getting bigger. As it came down, it would have filled the entire sky from horizon to horizon. And as it struck, the top would have still been well out into space. The impactor is 1,200 miles across, the size of Pluto. And as it hits, the energy of the impact shakes Mars to its core. The entire planet wobbles like jello. As it came down, it would have been hitting into the surface of Mars as fast as a bullet out of a gun. And it would have slammed into the surface and sent a shock wave out that would have been bigger than any earthquake ever recorded. It would have been like a tsunami of rock coming out and tossing us out of the way. The impact is catastrophic. It blows nearly half the planet's surface into space and turns what crust remains into a boiling lake of lava. You can't have an impact of that scale without almost melting the planet. Um, it's not literally a planet breaking event, but it's a planet melting event. And it is, it is the sterilization of the planet at that point. The surface of Mars was molten. Its atmosphere blown into space. The oceans boiled away. If Mars was home to the first generation of life in our solar system, that life didn't stand a chance. It would take the surface of Mars 50 million years to recover from the impact. But what sort of planet will rise from the ashes? Compelling new evidence suggests that the conditions for life may have returned to Mars, but did life itself make a comeback. This impact was only a blip in time, and there was possibilities for life and the planet to recover.